What's up guys, and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Yes, if you're watching this video, you read the title correctly. I'm no longer a police officer. Depending on who you ask, you might be sad about that, or you might be really happy that I'm no longer a police officer. It depends on who you are and who you ask. Also, do you see this new kind of setup that I got? This like podcast. I mean, I'm kind of liking this look. If you like it, comment down below and like this video and subscribe to the channel. But no, I like this. It's a good starting point. I got more things I got to put in the background, but so far I'm digging it. Very quickly before we get into this video, just so you guys know what to expect in the video, I'm going to tell you that I'm not a police officer, kind of why and what happened, and then kind of a glimpse into the future of this channel. Okay, so it's no secret that Johnny Q was a police officer about a year and a half to two years ago, okay? You saw my TikTok videos, Instagram videos, YouTube shorts. You saw everything that I did in the academy. The idea was to inspire other police officers as to what I was doing in the academy, post academy, field training, and then as an officer and what they do, right? And so that was my goal and that's what I did. I thought it would be really fun and unique, like a unique experience to enjoy online. But boy, was I wrong. People, especially police officers, hated my guts. At first, I didn't know why, but now I do know why. And honestly, I don't care that they hated me. It was my journey, not theirs. They were salty old cops and, you know, newer cops that didn't like what I was doing, that I was posting about what law enforcement is like becoming a TikTok cop. Okay, so minus all the hate, which I got tons and tons, like thousands of DMs, comments, and hundreds of emails saying, bro, you're not a cop, you're a waste of space. Like these cops, sergeants, lieutenants, captains would threaten me over social media. Crazy. I know, but it happens. Like that is just the nature of being a police officer and being a police officer is no joke. Whoever does it for 25 30 years, you're freaking awesome. You deserve a medal because that is not an easy job. I would come home sometimes and I would feel defeated. I would feel like I'm not fit for this job. And I, I feel like it was just too much to handle sometimes. Like you see some really weird, crappy stuff every night, every day. And so you kind of have to just cope with it. And I was okay in those situations, but I had to learn, right? And as I was learning those things, I would post about them. Not the specific situations, but what I would be doing, how I would feel, how I would do in those situations. People didn't really like that, <laughs> unfortunately. And so despite all the hate, I was in field training. I passed field training. I had a great field trainer. The third phase of my field training, you know, regiment or whatever it is, like, yeah, that guy, I respect him so much. And if you're watching, you're freaking awesome, dude. Without you, I mean, he was like a true mentor without being a mentor. And I don't know if he knows that, but he should know that because he has so much value to bring to other officers. So if you're watching, you're freaking awesome. And so he kind of prepped me and he was like, you know, he had some hard conversations with me saying, do you really want to do this? Because this is what you get. And he showed me, we went through different videos of his and it got pretty real. So despite all of that, I still wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to help serve, help my community and protect and help people. Like that just sounds so cheesy, but it's true. That's why most people, most men and women get into law enforcement. And I was attracted to something like that. And once I got into the groove, I felt like I succeeded, but I couldn't show people that side of the success because it was like, I can't just release body cam footage of what I was doing on the job. Like it's, doesn't work like that. And so I kind of just started making like, here's me as a police officer. And then I started making kind of offshore content as to kind of mimic what it is like to be an officer. And I would make videos answering people's questions, kind of not getting into like specifics, but more of kind of overall general idea of law enforcement and what that meant to me in these videos. And people hated that. And so a lot of like meme pages came out and were just roasting me every single day, would threaten me, would, I mean, honestly, sexually harass me over the internet. Like there's some really weird stuff that people got into and were saying about me and posting about me. And I just thought, you have so much time to think about me. That's just crazy. So a lot of people think that I got fired. 
A lot of people think that I got let go. A lot of people think and want to assume that I went to a different agency or I stopped doing the job because I couldn't handle it. I'm here to tell you that's not true. <laughs> that's not what happened, okay? We will touch more on what happened a little bit later in the video. Did it deter me? No. Was it hard to go to work? Yes, because the same people at my department were the ones who hated my freaking guts. Maybe it was because I'm some TikToker with 3 million followers, which by the way, got banned, whatever. I had a million plus subscribers on YouTube. Cool, but like I wasn't that guy that was cocky. And so I think people labeled me as something without getting to know me first, which as we all know, that just doesn't really work out. And sometimes when you get to meet someone and talk to them, they're actually pretty pleasant to deal with. And the people who know me at that department and who got to know me and work with me would say, hey, at first, I thought you were this, but after going and, you know, talking to you, going to calls with you, getting to know you, you're not that guy. And it was hard to convince people online that I wasn't the guy that they thought I was. And so I, I kind of just stopped trying to convince people and I was doing me. And if I offended people, like, okay, cool. <laughs> so fast forward, you know, I'm on my own. I'm doing it. I'm going to calls. It's going great. Got some really cool things. I did some really awesome things. I wanted to be on SWAT. Like that was my thing. I was training every single day weekend i was going to the gym i was shooting a bunch catching up on like the the laws the state laws municipal i mean all of that stuff trying to be like the best officer so that i can try out for swat and be a good swat officer too and last year there was just some family trouble some family issues and i had to choose it was more so i could do what i'm doing now which i loved and it was awesome but i should maybe think about family life and what that means and i chose family over this job, which I really liked and I loved and I thought I was really good at. And I was affirmed by people who trained me saying, dude, you're getting better, good job, you're working well, you're doing this wrong, but also you're improving. And I was really pumped to be there. I had built a really good friendship with another officer and you know, I just did not want to leave, but I did. And so I chose family over a job. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I could do this YouTube thing. Maybe I could do social media. I think I'm good enough. People are watching my videos. They're successful. They're getting views. So it kind of just makes sense to migrate in that direction, which brings me to this point of kind of a glimpse into the future of this channel. This is it right here. Like more of this. I want more. Maybe I answer people's questions in this kind of format. Maybe we talk about certain things that are happening in the country, like guns, since you guys know I love guns, firearms, people, maybe not politics, I don't know about that, but for example, should teachers have firearms? Should they be trained with guns in a school? My answer, yes, they should be, okay? And we can talk about that in another video, but this is the future of Johnny Q. I will still be doing shorts, firearm content, but this is going to be it. Okay. There wasn't some big explosion at the police department. I wasn't let go. I wasn't fired. No, nothing like that happened. So yeah, I'm here to tell you guys that I was not fired, let go. I left the department on good terms. I love that department. They treated me very well, minus some officers that I will not name that did not like me. And I could tell, and people told me, but that's okay. We're there to do the job. If they were in trouble, I would go help and I would go lay my life for them because that's what I'm called to do. But anyway, this is kind of it. And so if you guys kind of resonate with this video, if you like what I'm doing on social media, you know, share this with your friends, comment, leave a like, subscribe, all those things that you guys know, but I'm going to take it a little bit more seriously and make videos that I want to make. And I want to show you a different side like, I want to challenge you to critically think about, you know, firearms. Guns aren't dangerous. They're not dangerous in and of themselves, right? Like, we can talk about more about it, but they're just not. It's the training or lack of training or people handling the firearms in a negligent way. And so I'm very passionate that people should protect themselves and their family. And I think this is going to be a great way to talk about all of that. So. 
with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys saw a little bit about me in this video. I'm a human too. I do regular things and I just happen to have a, a YouTube channel that has a following. And so hopefully you guys resonate with this message and hopefully with my future videos. If there's something like wrong or you want to talk about and it's like pressing you, comment down below. Like, let's talk about it. You know, maybe we'll have some good discussion in a different video about said topic. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for trying to understand me. Thank you for even listening and hearing me out. So for all the officers out there who hate my guts, I'm still here. I'm just not an officer, which makes you really happy. Maybe you want to applaud, but that's okay. I'm a little sad, but that's okay because what's this? Oh, that's crickets. Oh, no. I'm really pumped to be here <laughs> and we'll be doing some more training. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.